Yoga, yoga, yoga. We are back on our Road to Master series. We're trying to get every single character in Street Fighter 6 to Master Rank. As always, for the first video for each character, we're going to have like the first half of the video be a uh, sort of character overview slash guide. Not completely optimal. Obviously, I'm not like a dulcim expert, but it should be enough to get you started. And it's going to get me started as I play my placement match. It's four ranked. We're going to try to get to Diamond 1. That's the highest you can place. Um, it's going to make our lives a lot easier to try and get to master if we can hit that diamond one rank before we get into it just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and let's get into it but for those of you that have played dalsim in the past or i mean play street fighter in the past in general you know what dalsim is all about and his general game plan hasn't changed very much he has these very long limbs of course that's going to try and keep you out he's got great anti-airs it's back fierce go super far Back medium punch when you're in closer range is a little bit of a faster option. He's got all of his fireballs back, his Street Fighter 5 fireball you do with a kick. Um, it has the arching thing where you can do a slide and then combo from it. He's got his Street Fighter 4 and I guess normal fireball back where it goes horizontally. You can mix him up with a teleport. Uh, he also has an air fireball. I think it's half circle back and punch um, in order to get it. Uh, there is a lot of recovery, but the idea is it's pretty hard for the opponent to approach after this. Um, after the EX one, I think you can actually teleport, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can do anything you want after the EX one, but the, re the regular ones you have to uh, just fall down afterwards. He's got Yoga Flame back, which is kind of your main combo option, I would say. The main one you use is back medium uh, kick into uh, this yoga flame. And then I think the highest damage option that only works if they're standing is the, I guess it's called yoga blast actually. But you can combo even the heavy off of jabs and in the corner, you can get a sweep actually. So this is gonna be the main thing if you see them standing, but if you see them crouching, you're gonna have to do something else like a fireball drive rush or a EX fireball. This guy's drills back, light goes the farthest, heavy goes the shortest. And if you press uh, down light punch in the air, it gives his headbutt. And you might be wondering what the point of it is, considering his dive kicks, you know, kind of do the same thing. Well, this one is actually special cancelable. So you can do a teleport. I'm guessing you can get EX Blast, you can do a teleport after this because after EX Blast you can teleport. So a lot of different options that make uh, Dalsim a very complicated character. Uh, he also has his float back from Street Fighter 5, you press down in two kicks, he goes in the air, do something like this. I think he can only go straight up or forward, so you either do down forward into it or down into it. I think down back also just goes straight up. In terms of his normals, he's got stand medium kick, stand medium punch, stand heavy punch. They all go super far. They're going to obliterate your opponent's drive gauge. Look at that. And it's going to make them want to approach. Because in this game, like, it's not going to do any damage to the opponent and um you know you might think that it might not be so scary just sitting on the opposite end of the screen but because of the damage to your drive gauge if your opponent just sits there the whole time they're going to be eating all of this drive gauge damage and eventually they're going to get burned out and at that point it's just going to be really annoying for them they're even going to have to deal with uh, fireball into teleport mix-ups because they're not going to have parry so the basic game plan is stick out these long buttons try and anti them from afar if they get close enough and fire them like this um, and if you need to you spend some drive rush resources to try and get them out uh, important to note crouch medium punch and stand heavy kick I think are the only cancelable ones. So if you're up close, you probably want to be pressing these ones so you don't risk getting drive impacted. That way you can react and drive impact back. Sand Heavy Kick actually doesn't hit crouching unless you're super close. Um, so that's kind of the weakness of this button. Otherwise it would be kind of too good because if you look at when they're standing, look at how good this is. So they kind of they kind of had to make it not hit crouching. Okay, so let's talk about combos. I already said uh, when they're standing, you can go for this blast off of the crouch jab. If you see that they're crouching, just do a regular fireball. You're minus two, so it's not even your turn anymore. 
Um, you can also do this, spend a little gauge to get the knockdown. Or if you want to spend three bars, get a little bit more expensive with it. You can go for a drive rush into this. Uh, I think your main drive rush combos are off of the stand light kick or any jab actually. Go stand jab back medium kick into flame. And also go into EX flame, which actually is a trial combo. And you might be surprised to learn. And this goes into his level 1 super, which is pretty crazy. Obviously, if you spend an EX, you can also go into his level 2. Down back, down back kicks. And if you go into any special, you can just go into his level 3. As any character can do. For the other buttons that are special cancelable, so this isn't going to give you enough for this, but you can actually get back medium punch off of it. Which is going to give you heavy flame, so that's a, that's a pretty good choice. Um, and then the last one is kind of, I guess, the main big damage loop. Off of this, you get cross fierce, so you get back medium punch, or back the kick, I mean, uh, into into that. So this is probably going to be your easy cash out option into level three. And there's a couple other cool combos he can do, like this punish counter one from max range. That's pretty crazy. Get the meaty slide. Those are very situational. I think the ones that I mentioned, the driver's combos, are going to be the main ones that you're going to be doing um, into the cash outs, into the supers. And then you're just going to be trying to keep your opponent out um, like this. I guess the main thing to note besides all this is the drive impact combos. So in the corner, just do crouch fierce into the heavy flame and his punish counter. You can go into the blast if you want, or spend some drive rushes if you so desire. I'm sure there's more optimal versions, but obviously I am not a Dalsa main quite yet, and these should be good enough to get you and me started. And that's going to be it for our Dalsim knowledge, and let's get into our ranked placement matches. We got Blanca first. This could be okay, maybe maybe Dalsim can punish quite yet. Okay, we're gonna cash out. Did not work. Okay, watch the drive impact. Just jab real quick. Maybe he'll get scared and drive impact us. Okay, I'm just gonna drive us out of here. Gonna get back a little bit. Got a super. Fireball. No, oh, that was so close. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. Bruh. I was so close. It got laggy at the end too. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I just need to play a little bit more patient. It's fine. The anti-airs. I need anti-airs. Oosh. Oh. Oosh. Okay, we just gotta keep them out. Keep them out. They're gonna come in. We're gonna back medium punch. I try to back medium punch. Yep, 
Yup. Yoga, yoga, yoga. Oh. Oh. I need one button. One button, one button. Oh, we got, got this. Watch this. He's going to parry. But I was going to say he's going to parry and I'm going to throw, but I mean, he just, he just did a super. Bad. That was bad. He's burned out though. Oh no. I tried to parry and then because I was buffering, the super came out. Definitely could have killed me, right, with Super? Yoga, yoga, yoga. Yoga, yoga, yoga. It might give me diamond because I beat a plat four too old. Let's do one one more quick one to solidify our place. Yoga, yoga, yoga. Oops. Yoga. Burned out, but they're burned out as well. If we get level two, we might just do it, right? I, know, I just want to do it. Two one and Don does. What is that move? I didn't even know I had that move to be honest. Yoga, yoga, yoga. One more. Bro, 
destroy. I'm gonna try to DP even though I'm Dalton. I don't know how to defend this Dalsim. It's because the light kick is 9 frames, I keep forgetting that I'm trying to mash it in between the block strings, but it's so slow that it just never beats anything. I need to do light punches. Bro, that was kind of insane how well I played that. Alright, somehow we are continuing on our streak. Diamond 1 for Dawson, 19,055 points. The only person we haven't gotten to Diamond yet uh, in our placements is JP. I think we're looking, looking pretty good at our understanding of this game and our Road to Master so far. Make sure to tune in, subscribe for some more Road to Master. Leave a comment saying what you think of Dawson, and I'll see you in the next video.